Hi! In this video I will show you a battery charge controller module which is suitable for various 12V and 24V batteries. It comes in a nice compact sized PCB package which has all the components that is required for automatic battery charging function. Let me describe some of the components of this module. This module has a nice 7 segment display that allows real time voltage monitoring. Below it, we can see two push buttons. A small LED is available which indicates if the battery is charging. A 12 volt relay which controls one of the wires of the charger to achieve the function of controlling the charger output on and off. There are four connectors that allows to attach the battery and power supply with this module. The module comes with a part number HCWM632. It uses LM2596, which is a 3 ampere step down voltage regulator. An inductor for the boost operation. And other components to help in switching and biasing functions. I will be using a 12 volt 9 ampere dry battery for demonstration. Its specifications indicate that it requires 13.6 to 13.8 volts charging voltage for standby use and 14.5 to 14.9 volts charging voltage when it's being used more often. Also, the initial charging current should be less than 2.7 amperes. For the demonstration, I will be using these wires with crocodile connectors for connection purpose, but it is compulsory to use thick wires that should allow transfer of high current otherwise the wires will heat up. Let's first test the voltage of this battery using a multimeter. Right now, it is showing 12.6 volts across its terminals. It's time to turn on this module by connecting the battery to it. Here I will place this plastic sheet on the 7 segment display so you can see its voltage more clearly. Let's now compare the voltage of this battery that is being displayed on the module with a standard multimeter. As you can see there is a measurement error of almost 0.18 volts in the voltage measured by this charge controller module so it's always good to use standard multimeter for checking the voltages. Let's now see the function of the two push buttons that are available on this module. The button on the left side is used to set the minimum voltage point on which when the battery potential reaches so this charge controller module will start charging your battery. Simply press it once to see its present value which is set to 12 volts. While the button on the right side is used to set the maximum voltage point, on which when the battery potential reaches, so this charge controller module will stop the charging of the battery. Also simply press it once to see its present value which is set to 14.5 volts. Now, in order to set a new value for a minimum voltage point, just press and hold the left push button for a few seconds which will take you to the programming mode and the digits on the 7 segment display will turn on and off. Once you are in the programming mode, you can press the left or right button to increase or decrease the value.
Here, I will set the minimum charging voltage point to 12 volts so whenever the voltage of this battery drops below 12 volts, this module will automatically turn on the charger to charge this battery. Once you are on your desired value, simply wait for a few seconds and the module will save the new value into its memory. In the similar manner, you can set the maximum voltage point by pressing and keep holding the right push button for a few seconds, set your desired value and wait for a few seconds to let the module save it into its memory. If you don't know the maximum charging voltage for your battery, please see the battery notes which is usually written on the front side of the battery or check its user manual. Here, I will set the maximum charging voltage point to 14 volts so whenever the charging voltage of this battery reaches at this point, this module will automatically cut off the charger from the battery. Finally, after programming this module, let's turn it off and back on to make sure that the new voltages are now stored in its memory. And it's a success. Enjoyed the tutorial, right? If yes, then do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.